electric potted propulsors. In recent years a number of large cruise ships have been fitted with electric potted propulsors. Pod propulsion has also been considered for large container ships and fast rural passenger ships. The advantages of electric potted propulsors are Two, the hull form can be designed for minimum resistance. Three, the thrusters provide good propeller clearances and can be aligned with the local water flow to provide a clean flow of water to the pulling propeller. Four, Lower noise and vibrations are claimed but it is reported that with some installations this has not always been the case. 5. There is improved maneuverability, which is a major advantage for cruise ships visiting a number of ports. Various pot and propulsor arrangements are installed, a smaller vessel may have a single unit providing both propulsion and steering. Whereas a large ship like the Queen Mary 2 has two fixed potted propulsors, ahead of and further outboard, than the two rotating potted propulsors that provide the steering force. 5. Each of these potted propulsors has a 6 meter diameter four bladed propeller. 6. For each potted propulsor a seating is welded into the ship's bottom structure to distribute the loads from the pot over a wide area of the hull. The fixed propulsors are bolted directly to their seating whilst the steering units are carried by a slewing ring in their seatings. Power from the ship's main machinery space is transferred to the motors in the steering pods via a slip ring unit.